Hello everyone and welcome to ACE's English Grammar episode uh, on English tenses. Our lesson for this video is about one of the tenses and the tense we are going to talk about is uh, present perfect continuous tense. Uh, you might know a little bit about present perfect continuous tense or you might not know about present perfect continuous tense. What is present perfect continuous tense? There are different tenses in English language and uh, we use different tenses in different cases. So we need to understand each tense. That's why we are here to make this kind of videos on different English tenses to make you guys understand it better. So our today's tenses is about present perfect continuous tense. What is present perfect continuous tense? Present perfect continuous tense is a tense which connects the present with the past or connects the past with the present. It's a kind of action, it shows a kind of action it started in the past, comes to the present and may or may not go to the future. That's called present perfect continuous tense. We use this kind of uh, sentences, we use this kind of uh, uh, sentence structures in our own native languages as well so that we need to understand it in English, how to use this sort of sentence structures in English language. So, let's start, let's begin it. Uh, present perfect continuous connects present with the past or started in the past continues to the present. It shows a kind of action started in the past comes to the present and may or may not go to the future. That's called present perfect continuous tense. It has a structure it has a structure to be used correctly, to be used properly. What is the structure? As far as we know, as far as we know, it's a perfect continuous. It's a perfect continuous. Then we must know about perfect tenses and continuous tenses. And the perfect tenses, we have the auxiliary verbs have and has. And the perfect tenses to have verbs are the auxiliary verbs. And the continuous tenses to be verbs or the auxiliary verbs with the verb ing, with the present participle form of the verb. So, then it's a mix of perfect and continuous tenses. It's a mix of present, perfect and continuous tenses. So, here we have the auxiliary verbs have and has, and we have the auxiliary verb to be verb, the third form, been, and also the verb ing. So, in every sentence we must have a subject the door of the action, we have the subject, then have and has, plus been, plus verb ing, plus complement. This is the affirmative structure of present perfect continuous tense. Uh, in order to change it to question form, to interrogative form, we need to bring the auxiliary verb in the beginning. Which auxiliary? The to have verbs. Of course, the to have verbs should be in the beginning, then the rest of the sentence. Have and has comes in the beginning, then we have subject plus been plus verb ing plus complement. It's the interrogative form of present perfect continuous tense. Okay, so then uh, we have uh, the negative form. In the negative form, we have subject plus have and has plus not plus been plus verb ing plus complement. This is the, the three forms of present perfect continuous tense, affirmative form, interrogative form, and negative form. So, uh, let's come to examples. Let's come to examples to understand it better. In the sentences, you might get the idea better how to use present perfect continuous tense. So, the first sentence is written here. Uh, people have been playing football since ages. People have been playing football since ages. In this sentence, see, we have the subject. People is the subject. Then we have uh, the auxiliary verb have, and then the to be verb been, then the present participle verb ing, the verb ing form. Then the rest of the sentence, the complement. People have been playing football since ages. It means the action started in the past. Since ages, it means from a long time in the past. The action started in the past, comes to the present, and may or may not go to the future. People have been playing football since ages. The second sentence, I have been studying English for three months. I have been studying English for three months. We have our subject I, then we have the auxiliary verb have, then the been, then the verb ing, and then the rest of the sentence. I have been studying English for three months. So it means 
uh, my action started three months ago. Three months ago, I started the action. My action is still going on. The action started in the past, comes to present, and this action may continue. I may study English a little bit more for some more time in the future. Come to the next sentence. The next sentence, my brother has been working in this company. My brother has been working in this company since he graduated from university. Uh, there was a time in the past my brother graduated from university. So the time my brother graduated from university, he started working in this company since that time. That time he started working in this company. And still my brother is working in this company. And he might work a little bit more uh, for a longer time in this company. See, the action started in the past. It means the time he graduated from university started in the past, comes to present, and it may or may not go to the future. Understood? Okay. Uh, the next one. You have been watching this video for 20 minutes. So it's a good sentence. Uh, you might have started uh, watching this video a few minutes ago. I don't know uh, how long um, has it been. Has it been uh, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, or 10 minutes? So you started watching the video at some time, at some point in the past. And still you're watching the video. And you may watch the video a little bit more longer. So the action is started in the past, comes to present, and may or may not go to the future. So you have been watching this video for 20 minutes. Good. Uh, come to the next one. The next one, they have been saving money for two days, for two years. Everyone loves saving money. I'm sure you love saving money. And uh, I'm sure you're saving money. So, they have been saving money for two years. They started saving money when? Two years ago. The start of the action was two years ago they started saving. And they still, they are saving money. And they may save money in the future. So, it's called present perfect continuous tense. They have been saving money for two years. See, all these actions started in the past, comes to present, and uh, may or may not go to the future. So that we can call it present perfect continuous tense. I hope you understood these sentences, and I want you to make more of, uh, more of these sentences according to these structures, and uh, make yourself understand about the usage of present perfect continuous tense. So, come to the next part. See, in every sentence, we have sense, for, and uh, we have uh, sense and for in many sentences. We use the sense and for a lot. So what is the connection of sense and for with present perfect continuous tense? Let's understand the connection of sense and for with present perfect continuous tense. What is sense, what is for? Uh, sense, a start of an action in the past. It means when we use sense, with the word sense, we can show the start point in the past. When was the start point? The start point is shown by the word sense. And uh, in some cases, we use the duration of the action from the past till now. Uh, to show the, dur the duration of the action from the past till now, we use the word for. For shows the duration of the action. How long? How long? Uh, the action was uh, ongoing and uh, so and for the sense it means uh, when the action was started until now so we show the duration and the start point of the action in the past uh, so that's about sense and for the next part is about dynamic and uh, stative verbs uh, you might know about dynamic words we call them also action verbs dynamic words or action verbs or those verbs which they happen physically or uh, they or actions they happen and uh, we call them dynamic or action verbs such as uh, study is a dynamic word uh, write is a dynamic word or uh, walk is a dynamic word or action verb so this kind of verbs which they happen physically uh, they're called action verbs or dynamic words uh, the next is, the next type of verbs are called stative verbs. Stative verbs are those verbs which they do not happen physically. They only show state, situation, existence, uh, feelings, emotions. They are called stative verbs. There is a problem 
about stative verbs. Stative verbs are not used with continuous forms. Stative verbs are not used with the continuous forms. Uh, we cannot use stative verbs with present continuous tense. We cannot use uh, stative verbs with the past continuous. We cannot use uh, uh, stative verbs with uh, future continuous, with present uh, perfect continuous. Now our lesson is about present perfect continuous. So present perfect continuous is also a continuous. It's a continuous tense. It's a mix, mixture of perfect and continuous. So in this continuous tense also, we cannot use stative verbs. So I have written some examples. I have written some examples with the, uh, with the two forms. You have to tell me. So which sentence is correct? Then I will come to explanation. So the first sentence is, I have been believing in Allah since I was born. Is this sentence correct or incorrect? We will come to it. I have uh, believed in Allah since I was born. I have believed in Allah since I was born. So in these two sentences, we have to recognize the main verb. Is the main verb a dynamic verb or is the main verb a stative verb? So the main verb, I is the subject, have is the auxiliary verb, been is the also auxiliary verb. So believing is the main verb. And it's a stative verb so that it's an stative verb, we cannot use it with present perfect continuous tense. In a state of present perfect continuous tense, with stative verbs, we have to use present perfect tense. So, uh, then the first sentence, then the first sentence is incorrect because believe is a stat stative verb, it cannot take the ing form of the verb, then we mark it incorrect. We mark it incorrect. It is incorrect. It is not correct. So, the second one, I have believed in Allah since I was born. This sentence is correct because in a state of present perfect continuous tense, we use present perfect to make uh, uh, the study verb show, show the situation which it started in the past, comes to the present and may or may not go to the future. So, the second sentence is correct. Uh, go to the next sentence. Uh, the second sentence, students haven't been understanding the lesson. It's a negative sentence. It's a negative sentence. Students haven't been understanding the lesson. Come to the main verb. What is the main verb? Understanding. It's the main verb. So it is a main verb, but it's a, it's a stative verb. So the stative verbs cannot be used with the ing form of the verb. So this sentence we can say is incorrect. It's not correct. Uh, students haven't understood the lesson. In a state of present perfect continuous tense, we have to use the present perfect to show this action started in the past, comes to the present, and may or may not go to the future. Uh, the next sentence, she has been loving her mother for years. Loving is the main verb and it's also a state verb. It's a state verb. Uh, it shows a feeling, my feeling against my mother, your feeling against your mother. So it shows feeling. She has been loving her mother for years. So it's a state verb. So the state verb cannot have the ing form of the verb. So that it's incorrect. It's not correct. Uh, she has loved her mother for years. So this sentence is correct. We can mark the second one correct, the first one incorrect. Because a uh, stative verb cannot have the ing form of the verb. Wish you understood this part. If there is any question, you can ask questions in the comments. Come to the next part. The next part is about uh, contraction forms. Contraction forms of auxiliary verbs. Contraction forms of auxiliary verbs. We know the auxiliary verbs in the uh, present uh, perfect continuous tense. Have is the auxiliary verb, has is the auxiliary verb, and also uh, been is the auxiliary verb. But we talk about contraction form of have and has plus have not or has not. I have been working. And instead of I have been working, we say I have been working. I have been working. The pronunciation changes a little bit. The first one says I have been working. I have been working. This one says, I have been working. I have been working. A little bit changes in pronunciation. Uh, I have not been working, negative form. I have not been working. Uh, to make it negative, we say it, I haven't. I haven't been working. I haven't been working. And also, uh, he has been working. You know about the difference of have and has. When the subject is plural, we have to use have. When the subject is singular, we have to use has. He has been working. So we can, uh, uh, we can contract the has. We can say, instead of he has, we say 
he has been he has been uh, working uh, he has not been working he hasn't been working the contraction forms of auxiliary verbs can be used in the present perfect continuous tense hope you under understood this part as well okay jump to the next part what is the next part the next part is about some common mistakes in present perfect uh, continuous tense that students make uh, what are the common mistakes the first common mistakes which students make about present perfect continuous tense is I have been understanding the lesson using state verbs with the ing form of the verb. It's a common mistake. Many students make this mistake so that you shouldn't make this mistake anymore and you shouldn't use the state verbs with the continuous tenses. I have been, in, I have been understanding the lesson in a state, it's incorrect, in a state of this sentence we have to say the present perfect. I have understood the lesson. Wish you have understood the lesson as well. Uh, next sentence. I'm working here since 2018. I'm working here since 2018. This this is present perfect. This is present continuous, not present perfect continuous. It's present continuous. In the present continuous tense, we do not use the word since. Uh, in a state, we have to uh, use the present perfect continuous tense. Every tense, every tense has its own form. So in the present co uh, continuous tense, we cannot use the since. Every tense has its own uh, concept. So in the concept of present continuous tense, since is not correct to be used because in the present continuous instance we do not show the start of any action we show the start of actions with present perfect continuous tense I have been working here since 2018 so this the second sentence is the correct one I have been working here since 2018 the first one I am working here since 2018 incorrect not correct so the next one we have been studying since two hours we have been working since two hours remember uh, two hours is a duration. To show the duration of an action, we have to use for. So that the first sentence is incorrect. Uh, we have been studying. We have been studying for two hours. Uh, we have been studying. We have been studying since two hours. Incorrect. We have been studying for two hours. Correct. Because two hours is a duration. To show the duration, we have to use for, not since. Okay. Now, it's the end of the lesson. Wish you understood all these uh, notes. And uh, wish, uh, I wish this lesson must have helped you understand about present perfect continuous tense. So we will come uh, with the new lessons about other tenses as well. Uh, you can uh, make sure to understand this one. Then you will come to the next ones as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wish you all a best of luck. Have a good time. Wish you the best of this world and hereafter as well.